in existence. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, I'm watching the house for a few hours, and it's as quiet as a grave. I become convinced it's empty. I ask around, uh, people ain't been seen. So, for some reason, I must be getting sloppy. I just walk right in. Right into a wake for their dead Uncle McCarby. No! Oh, yes. Oh, what'd you do? I froze. Then, uh, then I, I saw his name, and I became McCarby's best friend they never knew about. Ha, <laughs> ha, ah, Somehow I winged it <laughs> and let them lead me into being McCarby's former gold prospecting friend from back in 76. By the end of the evening, we were laughing together. And crying. It was very sad. He was a lovely man, old McCarby. <laughs> but you still robbed him, huh? You heartless bastard. Oh. Of course I didn't. <laughs> I robbed the priest, but not the family. <laughs> That's okay, then. <laughs> You're a pair of old fools. The master at work. The old habits die hard. Just so long as you ain't making me dress up like an idiot. 